Right, this is a short tutorial on the use of Raynet Messenger uh, used to send an IARU formatted message. I have uh, Raynet Messenger set up with my call sign in both the uh, originators and the receive uh, fields, so effectively I'm sending the message to myself for the purposes of demonstration. I'll also have it set to GMSK 250 mode. OK, um, I've prepared a template in IARU message format, uh, pre prepared in Notepad, saved as a read-only file so that it can't be overwritten. So it's just a matter of filling in the various fields, message number, precedence, station at origin, etc. To, from, message, and then the, uh, the blank. Uh, pieces at the bottom for the receiving station to fill in. OK, in all the best traditions, here's one that I prepared earlier. So once you've filled in all the fields with the message, it's simply a matter of highlighting and copying the message. Then go to Raynet Messenger paste the message in the formal message box. At the top there it shows how many characters that there are in the message. There is a limit of 2,000 characters in the formal message box. So we're on 560 characters at the moment. Then simply send formal message. The message is being sent. Once the message is being sent, you will see the, or hear the acknowledgement coming back from the from the distant station. That's the acknowledgement coming back from the distant station, and you'll notice that this window returns to highlighted blue text, which means that the acknowledgement has been accepted and the message has been received at the other end. Okay, where do you find the message? Open log file received messages and the message that you've just received is in in the in the log file now various ways that you can present this to your user service you could ask him to read it off the screen just as as it is now or again you can do a copy and paste close that window open a new window in notepad paste it in. You then have the the choice of either saving it to perhaps to a memory stick to transfer to the user services computer or print the message using the normal print command. And you can then close that window. You don't need to save it because all incoming messages are in fact saved in the received messages log file. And that's basically all there is to it. So I uh, hope this was of some help to people.